Ireland's economy is still recovering from the collapse of 2008. The IMF rushed to rescue with a 64 billion euro bailout in exchange for austerity measures. Laura, Laura Sexton reports that four out of five people in that country remain in debt. It's almost five years since the economic crash crippled Ireland's economy. Tough government austerity measures to manage the national debt made household debt unmanageable for many ordinary Irish citizens. Many Irish people can no longer afford to pay their bills, let alone their mortgages. Well, the numbers coming to us, uh, traditionally, uh, of people who had a mortgage was quite small. Now it's, it's 47, 48 percent. So you can see that even though somebody may not be in trouble with their mortgage, they may be in trouble because they're not paying electricity or a gas or some other bill because all their resources are going towards the mortgage. Many are struggling to cope with IMF-mandated continued austerity measures. Vincent Martin legally assists thousands of Irish debtors and says that implementing more government spending cuts is worrying. We get statistics every quarter. Ireland is edging closer towards one million of its citizens being caught up in the household debt problem. If, if you accept the average size of a family and include children, one million of our citizens is imprisoned in uh, debt without a chance of recovering. But what, has not, what the statistics do not show is the human cost. It is having a shattering effect on families. And for what? Ireland passed a new personal insolvency bill in 2012 creating the Insolvency Service of Ireland, or ISI, to help people eliminate debt. The ISI says it will start accepting applications in August. The question is, will the social stigma associated with indebtedness prevent people from seeking help? The arithmetic of Irish household debt suggests that this may be a problem. With a population of over 4.5 million people and around 1 million of them submerged in debt, that's one in every five people in the country. Yet the new insolvency service says that it has received around only 100 applicants for this new service. Lorda Sexton, CCTV, Dublin.